Hi, welcome to the walkthrough for Chapter 2, Code a Blink. In this exercise, we learn how to make an LED blink using code. Open your chibi book to page 2-2. The exercise is called Let's Get Coding. In addition to copper tape, LED stickers, and the chibi book and chip, you will also need a programming device that's connected to the internet. Any computer, laptop, tablet, or phone that can open a web browser should work. First, point your web browser to ltc.chibitronics.com. Then, click on the Examples button to bring up a menu of examples. Click on Love to Code Volume 1, and then click on Basic Blink to load the Basic Blink example code. The text you see here are the instructions that tell the Chibi chip how to blink an LED. Next, make sure your volume is turned all the way up on your computer. This is important to allow the Chibi chip to hear your instructions. Plug the audio jack into the headphone output of your programming device. Also, if the power isn't on yet to your Chibi chip, go ahead and turn it on now. Next, press and hold the small flat button near the USB connector until the LED labeled PROG turns red. Let go once the light turns red. Now click the Upload button on the browser. Within a few seconds, you'll see an orange soundbar animate across the bottom of the web page. The soundbar is a picture of the sound waveforms being uploaded to the Chibi chip. If everything went well, the red probe light will turn green, and the LED over pin 0 will start blinking. Why did we make the LED blink? Let's build a scene using the blinking light. Let's start by turning to the template on page 2-12. In this example, we need to turn a corner using the copper tape. Here's a trick for making neat turns using the copper tape. Lay down the copper tape until the corner of the turn. Then, fold the copper tape away from the direction you ultimately want to turn towards, so that the sticky side is up. Crease the tape. Now fold the copper tape toward the final direction of the turn. The tape will line up nicely over the gray line. See? Press it down and tear or cut the tape and repeat for the other gray line. Now take a white LED sticker and apply it to the red triangle on the page. Pay attention to the direction of the point on the page. Press down on the metal edges of the LED sticker to make a firm connection to the copper tape. Also, if the power isn't on yet to your Chibi chip, go ahead and turn it on now. Attach your Chibi chip to the edge of the page. You should now see the LED blinking. What's playing on the stage? Let's take the page out and draw a scene. For this scene, we'll draw on the back side of the page so that the light projects shadows of our drawing onto the other side. Pretty cool, huh? Flip the page and you'll see an empty stage. For best results, use a pen that doesn't bleed through the paper so the surprise isn't ruined by ink bleeding through the page. First, we sketch out the scene using pencil. Then we use an ink pen to fill in the scene. We make sure to fill it thoroughly so it blocks the light going through the page. Now let's put the page back into the binder and see what it looks like. Ta-da! The light reveals Juliet leaning over to see what's below. If the scene you drew is large like ours, you can use a neat trick to add more light. If you stick a second sticker down in parallel with the first, both will light at the same time. Let's see the scene again. The extra light reveals Romeo, on one knee no less. How romantic! Let's play with the code some more. Using small changes to example program, we can change how fast the light flashes. Turn to page 2-10 to see how. 
Here we can edit the numbers inside the pause statement from 1000 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds to make the lights blink twice as fast. Press the button on the board again until the probe light turns red and then hit upload. The light's blinking much faster now. Page 2-11 shows how you can make more complex patterns of blinking. You can copy and paste existing statements and just tweak the numbers inside until you match the sample code. Press the Probe button and upload your changes and see how the pattern changes. Try playing around with other numbers and combinations of statements and see what other things you can do to enhance the scene. That's it for the walkthrough of Chapter 2, Code of Blink.